Hello, it's Ida here uh, for the annual card reading, um, August 2013. Um, I think the reading for August is quite uh, special because um, originally I planned to use another card deck but um, I received the messages that I should use another one so I changed to um, Archangel Michael card deck. Uh, so there must be a reason. Um, as we know that uh, Archangel Michael, he is the one, um, um, you know, like uh, the great protector and is the source of courage. So um, it, could, it could be a, si a sign for us that um, the courage and um, sincerity that will be required for um, the month of August. And uh, let's see what are the divine messages is coming through. Yeah. Uh, as usual, we just concentrate, relax, and get the three cards. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, amazing. I love fucking Joe Michael so much here. Um, for the three cards reading for August that I can see, um, there's uh, strong messages regarding to put. Um, putting more love into your life, putting more love into yourself. Um, August is the month to do a lot of self-work, a lot of self-healing. Um, if you have some doubt about or uncertainties regarding to your life, regarding to your relationship, um, to a romance relationship and also a friendship and family relationships, you know, all these kind of questions, then here's the month for you to do uh, some sort of healing. Um, because you need to put more love and uh, Michael here is turning up to reminding you um, the first case is eternal love it's reminding you that um, love true love is there is in the air um, if you have lots of doubt and uncertainty or uh, some hardship turning up in front of you Michael is trying to remind you that um, the love is in the air um, no matter you know sometimes um, no matter is romance relationship friendship or uh, family relationship you know any kind of relationships it requires um, you know two people to dance so when one person energy vibration is not matching to yours then um, the frequency is not matching then that is a time for the individual to learn the lessons they may come back or they may not come, you know, go back together. So they may have their own uh, life journey. But anyhow, Michael is reminding you that you have so much love within yourself, and you are love. So he is reminding you put more love to yourself, love yourself, and um, don't don't put yourself too, you know, too tough and too harsh. Um, sometimes we may have a lot of requirement, a lot of uh, standard. Um, that is okay. I mean, if you know there's a number of boxes that you're missing, that is fine because um, as long as you do it better and better every day, that's all right. This is not necessarily saying that okay, Monday it must be like that. Uh, yes, we we can the set certain kind of goal, but you know, but you know sometimes that we have to keep it um, you know flexible. So that's why uh, we have to love ourselves. Um, so for the second card here is coherent to the first card about uh, loving yourself. Because the second card turning up here is about um, divine health. So here's Michael reminding you that loving yourself, especially your physical form. Um, if you want to attract more love, more positive energy, more positive people to your, to your life, then you have to put more love and positive energy into your own life. Uh, then you're able to giving out the vibration as what you really want. So that is a way to telling the universe what exactly that you want in your life. Um, when you love your health, love your body, then you will be surrounded by the people that they also love their body as well. So, um, you know, just like if you, uh, you know, if you, if you, you know, like if you're trying to start to do some uh, running exercise, you know, or this kind of thing, uh, you will able, you'll be able to surround by this group of people that they always have this kind of health conscious, 
in the mind. So um, these are the energy that you have to really reassure to yourself and commit to spend energy and love to your body. So that is something that's very really important. So love yourself and that is the way to love the others. So for example, if your family members currently who are suffering to certain kind of disease, then it, it could be a sign to telling you and reminding you that you have to love your body. Um, how can you uh, prevent it happens because you don't want other people worried about you so by looking after yourself that is a way of loving the other so that is a way of a true love um, it's not holding certain kind of disease or illnesses to attain or to gain certain kind of attention from the people um, so this is not true love and that is not a healthy um, relationship all right so just be reminded of that um for the third card turning up here that is um hmm, it's really coherent to the other card again because it's about uh, michael's reminding you that he is in charge and he is looking after the situation as long as you ask michael for um the intervention the situation or certain kind of movement that will be involved in August. If you are concerning or um, you know um, making a decision of whether you are moving houses or moving across countries or make a move between your careers or make a move um, you know to your towards your projects. So that is a time that you want to make a move. Um, it doesn't mean that you must make a move, but uh, what can we just see here if you are not certain? Ask Michael to help you. Either give you more courage to make a move, you know, forward, or, you know, Michael will help you to sort out the thing to make the road easy and clear for you to make a decision. How is that? Remember, sometimes the answer is not simply say yes and no. But it could be like it make the whole situation clear but then you have more information to make a decision how is that so angels and the higher self you know that they're always very clever is you know they think in much better and more details than you know uh, you know as a human sometimes most of the time basically so um ask michael to um, involve in the situation and uh michael is trying to help you the situation uh, if you uh, if you were in the kind of a harsh situation, harsh uh, relationship, Michael will be there protecting you. Once you make a um, you know a decision to say okay, full stop for the harsh relationship, then everything will have a new page. So everything will be fine. So as long as you make a decision to say yes, no more drama. That's it. I want to have a happy life. I want to have inner peace. Then, from now and onward, you are able to experience all this inner peace. Um, you don't have to worry or doubt say, by saying that, um, what if I um, you know, decide to um, leave the job? Am I able to get another one? Am I able to get a better one? Be confident. That's why you have to trust Michael as angels because um, if you have this kind of uncertainty doubt your own self that is only because your ego is trying to protecting you uh, but that's fine analogy yes because life is full of adventure how is that so that is all right you know my lovely ego I understand you know that could be a lump of uh, adventures that could be a lump of possibilities here I am aware of that I notice it um, and I still want to make a decision to make a move to change my career, to change my job. Um, if you want to be a freelancer, if you want to leave your routine job, as long as you feel comfortable with it, as long as you feel guided to do it. Uh, if you're uncertain, ask angels to help you to make a decision. So make the road clear and easier for you. Um, so it will make everything easier. Uh, that's one thing that's very important that everything is loving yourself um, if the situation is no longer serve you um, even though you try to delay it you notice that the thing is not really for you so that is something that um, you know the universe 
we arrange a thing for you. So just relax because August is the time for you to really um, enjoy your life. So look after the health. So maybe spend more time to enjoy the lovely summer instead of worrying, instead of, um, you know, keep on thinking yes and no, yes and no. You know, today think about yes, tomorrow think about no, and then next week think about yes again, you know. So um, time is precious. So why spend time in this kind of drama? Why not make the life easier? One is yes, go ahead. One is no, then no. So enjoy the time of being so that something is very important here. And remember, everything, all the decision that you're going to make for your life is based on love. That is because there are so many love within ourselves. So all the decisions that you're making are based on loving yourself loving the others but remember everyone has to take their own responsibility so don't take you know too far uh you know don't show the everything you know on you so make sure that you really understand and enjoy your august because august is a time for a lot of transformation and that could be a lot of changes in your life um and then and really enjoy the summer um I, I can really see the, the you know the August summer is a fantastic one enjoy the sun um enjoy the relaxed time if you're able to have it because uh once uh, September October is approaching then you notice that there's so many things you know it, it's going to happen so that's why you have to really enjoy it so um enjoy the August and all the best and i'm really happy to receive your email if you have any questions or if you want to clarify some kind of thing or any kind of uh, personalized um educational reading you're very welcome for that so um thank you for your uh, reading here namaste